Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new, I'm Amanda. Welcome to the channel where we are all about shattering the mental health stigma. If you haven't already, please make sure you make sweet, sweet love to that subscribe button. Give the bell a few kisses so you aren't missing any of this content designed to help you with your mental health or help you help someone else. Today I'm going to be reacting to If Tomorrow Never Comes. This is a request from George, my amazing Patreon. Thank you so much for your love and support. Guys, if you haven't had a chance to do so, check out my Patreon. Priority song request is one of the many benefits that you get. But George said that this song is very special to him, and Garth Brooks is actually pretty special to me too. I have no idea how I haven't heard this song because I grew up in Missouri. I grew up on country. I just never heard this specific song. I guess the cassettes that my parents had that we played just didn't have this one. So I am kind of excited to uh, get to experience this country god in his own rights in a new light today. Before we jump into today's reaction, you know, from losing weight to traveling to some remote destination, this is the time of year where everyone is kind of daydreaming about another life or another version of themselves. Resolutions can be great if you have a plan on how to actually bring them into fruition and if they are things that help foster growth and healing. Sure, go after that vacation, shed some pounds, but how about resolving some old trauma or getting past some mental stuck points? Sometimes these resolutions might not be achievable on your own. BetterHelp, the sponsor of today's video, is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25 thousand licensed and experienced therapists that can help you with a wide range of issues and concerns. To get started, you just need to answer a few questions about your needs and your preferences in therapy, so that way BetterHelp can match you with a therapist that is right for you. And this is huge if you have ever been tossed around in therapy from person to person that you just feel like they don't get it. It's also really amazing that you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist anytime and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you, so it's not on someone else's time. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you. More scheduling flexibility and at an affordable price. I honestly think that this is revolutionary in the mental health movement. I think that this is exactly what we need. It's solving a lot of problems that those of us struggling with our mental health had when it comes to pursuing help with a licensed professional therapist. BetterHelp is offering 10% off for my viewers by going to betterhelp.com slash Amanda Webster. That's better H-E-L-P dot com slash Amanda Webster, or you can scan the QR code here. I've also linked all of those things in the description below. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. Let's dive in to Gartho and see, I don't need, I'm not even gonna say see what we have because I know what I'm expecting with Garth, but I know that his, his voice and his energy is really powerful, so I'm kind of holding on to my boots here. Sometimes late at night I lie awake and watch her sleeping She's lost in peaceful dreams So I turn out the lights And lay there in the dark And the thought crosses my mind If I never wake up in the morning Would she ever doubt the way I feel about her in my heart? If tomorrow never comes, will she know how much I loved her? Did I try in every way to show her every day that she's my She must 
You know, our day-to-day -day words and actions, that's what really matters. That's everything or our lack thereof. And because that this moment is all that's guaranteed, this is all we're guaranteed in this life. And my boyfriend and I have a rule about never going to bed upset with each other, never leaving the house upset with each other because we never know uh, if we're going to wake up or if we're going to come home and also never missing the opportunity to express our feelings. A lot of cultures and a lot of people tend to uh, promote this idea of, of not, being too, uh, not being too emotional or not putting ourselves out there too much. And I think that can do a great disservice to us because we're not being authentic, but it can do a great disservice to the other person because they might never know how you really feel. Cause I've lost loved ones in my life who never knew how much I loved them. Now I live with the regret that my true feelings for them never were revealed. So I made a promise to myself to say each day how much she needs. And avoid that circumstance where there's no second chance to tell her how I feel. Cause if tomorrow never. Okay, I just need a second. I'm sorry to stop again so soon, but you know, this is likely a song to be interpreted about romantic love, which was the vibe I originally settled on because I was. Uh, really resonating with the, the lyrics themselves. Um, but Garth takes me back to my roots, you know, back to my home, back to my childhood, and back to my time with my parents. And I wasn't a good person, even by my own standards, back then in my teens and early 20s. And my shadow, my shadow reigned, and my parents were victims. And of course I told them, how much I loved them. Of course, I told them all the time how, how much I loved them, but I don't think I ever even scraped the surface of the depth of that love because I don't think it was something I really understood until later. I don't think I was able to understand love and I wasn't able to regulate my own emotions enough to be able to express that love and appreciation. And I'd give anything in the world for that chance, guys. So the regret is torture. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Will she know how much I loved her? Did I try in every way to show her every day that she's my only one? And in my time on earth, we're through. And she must face this world. Here's the love I gave her in the past Gonna be enough to last If tomorrow never comes So tell that someone that you love Just what you're thinking of If tomorrow never comes There's just something about classic country that I will never <laughs> stop loving. Uh, I don't resonate real, really with newer country, but I resonate with the classics like Garth and, and George Jones and Conway Twitty and Brooks and Dunn and, and a lot of those uh, older artists. But I just, we should never, ever, ever, ever second guess expressing our love or even our appreciation or our joy, our, our compassion uh, for other people. We should never 
we should never doubt that. We should never question that. Every little crevice down in our heart, we should be finding ways to express that toward other people and toward ourselves because we never know if we're going to have tomorrow. So we should be doing everything we can to heal ourselves and love ourselves as well um, during this time to live without regrets. But that means being the most authentic version of yourself. So I think to live without regrets, truly, truly live that way means being authentic and being uh, genuine under the fear and under the pain, really connecting to who we are and what a perfect person to give me that message right now, but someone who connects me back to my roots and connects me to who I am before uh, a lot of the, the trauma and the grief in my life. This was just really, really perfect because I've, I've really been uh, missing my parents lately and there's times where it becomes really strong and I have learned mostly how to, uh, how to cope with it and how to, how to express and how to lean into it. But there are times where it becomes stronger on some days than others and I've, I've kind of been feeling that. So uh, that's where those emotions came from. But I, I will always appreciate my roots and I'll always appreciate my upbringing and I'll just always wish that I would have said all of those things that I just didn't know how to say or I remember one time when I was going to church and it was this parents night where we were supposed to express uh, how we felt and I had this speech written out for my parents, but everyone just kind of went up there and said, well, I'm really thankful for you and just gave a very generic response. So I felt pressured to give a very generic response and I did. And later I ended up giving my parents the letter that I wrote and it made them cry. And I wish that I would have just verbalized that and said that because I allowed peer pressure and I allowed the social expectation to mute me. And I regret that, I regret not really uh, not really finding that peace within myself and that love for myself and that healing in myself that would have allowed me to show that to my parents or to even uh, some people from my past, some relationships that I've been in or some friendships that unfortunately had to end. I really wish that I would have been more uh, more where I am today so that I could have expressed myself better and not allowed the shadow to do so for me. So make sure that you're working on yourselves. Make sure that whether it's through therapy or whether you have to go on your own different journey, whatever you need, make sure that you're doing that. Listen to your heart for your own growth, for your own healing, and so that you are fostering these strong relationships with other people where you don't have to question whether they know and they don't have to question how you feel. That's really important. So thank you very much, George, for requesting this. Thank you very much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. And thank you, every single one of you, for being here, holding space for me, allowing me to share my mental health story. Just I encourage all of you to do good, bad, and crazy. Make sure you're sharing your story here in the comments because that's how we shatter the stigma is by talking about it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it. I'm sure there's a lot of people that could use the, the validation, use a little bit of direction when it comes to uh, this. Everybody needs the reminder, let's be real. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mm -hmm.